Hi, this set of videos is to show you the diatonic scale. The diatonic scale is the basis tone scale. It contains seven notes. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, di, do. Uh, in between uh, those notes are whole step, whole step, a half step, then three whole steps, and a half step. And that's essentially music theory in a nutshell. Horribly simplified, uh, but yet it's true. Um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, and do these scales um, one position at a time and we're going to keep the same position on the neck we're not going to, to uh, knit them together um, and this this purpose or the reason I'm doing this is to show you that uh, you can start in the same place and sound a bunch of different ways get a bunch of different flavors if you knit them together or string them together you will not see this this very important point and these are called modes and we're going to be playing in different modes in different positions and uh, towards the end of this series, you will see when, uh, when, the, when the final videos are released, how all this stuff fits together. Uh, but for right now, you're just going to have a lot of fun, if that's okay. So let's go ahead and uh, don't forget to download the PDF uh, diagrams for each position. This first position we're going to be going over is the Ionian scale. Um, don't ask me where they came up with these names. Um, I think they were maybe tribes in uh, Central Europe or, or Asia, um, and, uh, and that's all I really know. So, not really sure where the names came from. There's Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. And they're all, uh, they're all respective names for each one of these types of positions. The first one's Ionian. Ionian is really the king. Uh, it's the major scale. Uh, the do re mi fa sol la di do scale. Its formula is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty easy. Um, however, its position, uh, if you've never played scales before, can be somewhat difficult. And I suggest you uh, look at the exercises section if you're having trouble with these scales, um, because uh, sometimes your hands, um, the tendons, uh, simply don't allow for you to stretch to reach some of these notes. Um, but if you're experienced already, um, you can follow along with me. Um, and if you're not so experienced, you can still try and follow along with me and come back to these videos when you're ready. We're going to use G as a starting point, so let's go ahead and put our index finger on G. And let's go ahead and play the position, and I'm going to count the numbers or the degrees all the way to the top. And then when we get to the next octave, we're just going to continue until we run out of notes on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then because eight is one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. So that position goes well with major chords. It goes well with major seven chords. It goes well with major six chords. It goes well with major, just about major everything. Uh, for more information on what chords this scale goes with or what's, what chords this position goes with, please see the PDF download that corresponds to this position. And uh, we'll see you in the next position. This next position is called the Dorian position. Its formula is 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7. And it goes well, of course, with minor seven chords, if you're familiar with those formulas for those chords, uh, which is one flat three, five flat seven. It goes well with minor six chords, uh, which is one flat three, five, six. And minor, and, uh, minor flat six chords and all kinds of different uh, minor chords. It is a minor scale. The three is flatted. The seven is also flatted. And let's go ahead and start this on the third fret here. So this is one, two, flat three. Four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, three, flat three, sorry, and then four, and then we're out of notes. So once again, the formula for that scale is 1, 2, flat 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7. It goes well with minor 7 chords, minor 6 chords, basically minor, almost minor everything chords, 
For a better idea of what chords this scale goes with, please down the corresponding PDF for this position. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next position. This next position is called the Phrygian position. Its formula is 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7. So there's four flats in the scale. Um, the one you really need to pay attention to in the scale is the flat 2. Usually a scale starts out as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Mi, Do, okay? This one is 1. You know, it does the, the heavy metal half step, okay? That's very important. This is a scale that's used extensively over heavy metal. So if you like heavy metal, if you like edgy kind of music, this is really your position. So we'll start here. One, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one, flat two, flat three, four. This next position is called the Lydian position, and it is a uh, it's a major position. Um, it is the fourth the the fourth note in the scales position, um, and um, starts. Let's go ahead and start it down here. The formula for this position is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. So it's just got a sharp four in it. Everything else is just in the natural state. So one, two, three. Sharp four, five, six, seven, and then one again. So again, just a little different than the Ionian, which was so Lydian. Ionian, just a little different, one note difference, uh, but it makes all the difference in the world. Uh, Lydian goes well with major seven chords, goes well with other types of major chords as well. To see what kind of chords the Lydian scale goes with, please download our supplemental PDF and, uh, and it'll show you. Let's go ahead and complete the scale. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. position and uh, to find out what chords go with it please download our PDF and we'll be talking to you in the next position. Thanks a lot for watching. This next position is called the Mixolydian scale and uh, the Mixolydian scale's formula is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, flat 7. So the flat 7 is the only thing that gets flatted in this scale. It goes very well over 7 chords for example. Uh, it's a very good blues scale. Because uh, a seven chord, uh, its formula is one, two. Um, I'm sorry, one, three, and five, which is basically a major chord. Plus, it's got a flat seven added, uh, leaving the formula as one, three, five, flat seven, and uh, goes great over those chords. Go also goes great over a host of other chords. To see what chords it goes through, please download our supplemental PDF, and it'll show you. Let's go ahead and start on G. One, two, three, four, five, six. Flat seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, flat seven, one, two, three, four. Goes great over goes great over seven chords. Um, if you have any ideas, um, please send them to us. Uh, we always take suggestions for uh, different types of uh, scales and so on. Uh, don't be shy. Go ahead and send us an email and tell us what you think. And we'll see you in the next position. Thanks a lot. This next position is called Aeolian. And Aeolian is based on the sixth tone of the scale. Its formula is 1, 
2, flat 3, 4, 5, flat 6, flat 7. It is the relative minor scale of the Ionian. So the Ionian and the Aeolian have this sort of uh, liaison going on, uh, which we will describe later. But for right now, just know that they're basically uh, basically the same thing. Um, and uh, the 6 is called the relative minor of the 1. And I guess you could call the, the 1 the relative minor of the 6 if you wanted to. Um, essentially, they're starting points for both the major and minor scales. So let's go ahead and start this scale here on the third fret. So this is one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, one, two, flat three. Goes very well with, of course, minor chords. In that case, G minor, since G was the note we started on. All these positions depend on the note they start on. Whatever note you're starting on is what you're talking about. If you're talking about G minor, then you want to start on G. If you're talking about G sharp minor, you want to start on G sharp minor and then play the Aeolian scale and so on. It's very easy to understand how these scales operate. Um, it's not so easy to read them, uh, but note reading is something we will supply and uh, will be another supplemental series. Uh, but for, for the purposes of having fun and understanding things quickly and easily, we're not going to be doing that right now. So we'll, see you go, we'll go ahead and see you in the next position. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, download the PDF to see which chords the Aeolian position goes with. This next position is called the Locrian scale, and the Locrian position is uh, 1, flat 2, flat 3, 4, flat 5, flat 6, flat 7. So it's got flats all over the place. It is the diminished uh, equivalent uh, of a scale. A diminished chord is, uh, you know, of course, the, the scales that have a lot of tension, or I'm sorry, the chords that have a lot of tension in them, and there are scales that correspond with the notes in those chords. Locrian happens to be just one of them, one of many. The Locrian scale, let's go ahead and play this. Let's go ahead and say the formula as we play it. One, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven, one, flat two, flat three, four, Five, flat six, flat seven, one, flat two, flat three, and then four. Which goes with the diminished chord. And diminished chord is very unstable, uh, very unharmonic chord, full of dissonance, full of, uh, full of disregard for any type of harmony whatsoever. And uh, sometimes um, we need that in order to recognize uh, what good harmony is. So with that being said, uh, go ahead and watch our theory series as this uh, explains that, uh, as well as our songwriting section. And um, I'm sure you'll find uh, many uses for the diminished chord, even though it doesn't really sound like it's got a whole lot going for it. It really does. Uh, this is Stu Johnson with Second Floor Studios. You've just seen the diatonic scale uh, positions. Uh, be sure to download a PDF, the supplemental PDF, that goes alongside this position, the Locrian position, to see what chords the Locrian position goes with. Thanks a lot, and take care. We'll see you at lessons. Check you later.